What's going on today guys? Uh, we are back in the garage doing our first uh, battery review on the Snap-on uh, 18 volt. This one is a 5 amp hour battery. Uh, it is the Monster Lithium Ion Slide-on battery. Uh, the part number is CTB8187. It currently goes on the Snap-on website for $205.95, uh, which is pretty steep considering it's only a 5 amp hour battery. Uh, it would be nice if they started to branch out of there and maybe do you know, a, a 7 or a 10 or maybe something a little bit bigger uh, amp hour battery just to keep up with the times uh, considering you have DeWalt, Makita, um, Ryobi, and Milwaukee all doing different size batteries rather than the old 5.0 batteries. Um, it claims to have a 90 minute fast charge on there. Um, I don't know if they consider 90 minutes uh, fast when charging this battery, but waiting an hour and a half to be able to use that thing again is, doesn't seem too fast for me. Um, it does have a four LED lights here, uh, so you can push this button and it will show you, as you can see here, um, how much battery power it has left. So it's got two out of the four. So we're running around 50%. Um, unfortunately, it is made in Taiwan. Um, I would assume that something like this, especially with the price, would be made in America. Uh, it does say Kenosha, Wisconsin, but as you can see uh, right above the trash can there, it says made in Taiwan and you know, you figured it'd be a little cheaper if it was made in Taiwan. Um, but we're not here on the price. Um, we're really here because of the warranty. <clears throat> now, when it comes to the warranty for this, uh, it, it kind of comes with a bunch of mumbo jumbo. And then at the very bottom, it says audit it at the replacement processing center. <clears throat> now, I would assume that there is a date to go along with um, the warranty. Because if you never use the battery or use it, say you, say you charge it 10 times, but the battery is 10 years old, I can't see them giving you a brand new battery if that one somehow goes bad. Uh, but like I said, there's not a lot of stuff on the Snap-on website or really any other websites on the actual number of years for the battery. Now, what a lot of people don't know is you can check uh, on the Snap-on 18-volt uh, batteries how many times that it's been charged. And when you do that, now, before I get into that, I will say that this battery I probably had for like two months and I only have it uh, at the house because I have a snap-on uh, inflator, which is why also it only has two batteries. Uh, so I've only uh, charged it a few times, uh, but when you check it, your first light here is your single digits. So this, if it, if it goes off, it's only gonna count one through nine. This one is your, your 10 digit, so this one will be this will count one through nine as well, but this this will be, if it counts two, then it'll be 20. If this one counts, it'll be hundreds, and this one is thousands. So I'll do this one for you. You're gonna push and hold this button. The lights are gonna come on. They're gonna shut back off. In total, it's um, like eight seconds you hold it, and then you'll see it flashing. One, two, three, four, four times. So it only blinked four times. Like I said, I, the battery's probably a month old or so. So it only uh, blinked four times. So it's only charged four times. And after the video, I'm gonna charge it again because it's only on two, two batteries anyway. Um, but if it were to have 23 charges on it, you would have this light blink. Let's see if we can get you closer. <clears throat> you 
this if, if you charged it 23 times you're gonna have this middle one here uh, blink you'll have this one here blink twice and then you'll have this one blink uh, three times and that's the order that it's gonna go it'll blink one two one two three and it's the same thing for the other two if you charge it 1111 times it'll blink once blink once blink once and blink once and that's how you'll know um, that how many uh, times that you have charged it now on the snap-on website uh, when it comes to that um, <clears throat> Under the warranty, it says audit at the replacement processing center, because what they're gonna do is they're gonna push this button, they're gonna see how many times it's been charged, and then that's going to tell them, is it still under warranty or is it not still under warranty? Are we gonna send them a new battery because this one's defective if the lead's in it go bad or it got dropped or whatever it is. Um, but the issue is, is they don't tell you on the website how many charges you have until then. Because then I'm sure a bunch of people will, you know, start breaking stuff with it when it comes to, say, that 500 mark and they're at 450. And, oh, I can just get a new battery if I accidentally drop it or maybe open it up and, you know, put some water in it or something. But um, if you do know that uh, magical number or if there is a date... Uh, in which after you purchase it, how long you have, a year, I assume it's just a year or two uh, for the batteries themselves. Um, but if you know that magical number uh, for the charging, uh, put a comment below. I'd love to uh, know what it is. And uh, yeah, if you have any other questions or comments, uh, go ahead and throw them down there. Uh, if you guys want to see some uh, more videos, uh, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Till next time.